So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. Simplified questions are typically very short, between one to three lines long, and contain either an equation or an expression. In this case, we have both. We have an equation and we have an expression. Um, I have noticed that on this test, and I'll just rewrite this, 4x plus 2 equals 12. So I could definitely simplify that and solve for x. But what I've noticed is that, you know, the question is asking for the value of 16x plus 8. Usually when we have this combination of equation and the question is an expression, usually the expression is just some multiple of the equation. And in this case, there's, there's no difference, right? If I multiply this by 4, I get 16x plus 8, right? 4 times 4x, 16x. 4 times 2, 8. Which means all I need to do is also to multiply the right side by 4 to get my answer. So 12 times 4, 48. Therefore, my correct answer is choice B. So that's the fastest way to get it, I think, because uh, you can just kind of notice that without really doing the math. Obviously, we could also have just taken that original 4x plus 2 equals 12 and subtracted 2 from both sides and have 4x equals 10. And then here, maybe you wouldn't like it so much, right? Because you'd have x equals 5 over 2, right? Because 10 fourths is 5 halves. And then you have to take that value and plug it into the x value. So yeah, I think, you know, although not that it's too difficult to solve or anything, I just feel like this process and recognizing this process is a, is, a, is a common theme on the digital SAT is a better way, a more efficient way to solve it, a least likely way to make a mistake.